What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly how to use the host product once that you've taken it from the factory container and put it into the working container. Now you notice the plastic liner. The only reason I put the plastic liner in here is so when I get to the bottom of the bucket, I can actually get the last bit of material out of there without having to dig it around because as you see it sticks to the inside. It's going to be much easier to clean this bucket out if I simply take the liner out and dump the rest of it out. Whether I dump it out on the floor and use it, or I want to put it back into my bucket, I'm not going to lose track of any of my product that I purchased. The question always is, how much product do I apply to the floor to do an adequate job of cleaning? There's many answers to that. But the biggest one is handfuls. Now I realize that everybody's going to have a different size hand. This is as close as we're going to get. You could purchase an applicator, but most people don't. In this case, what we're going to do is our applicator is our hand. What I'm going to do here is we're going to say that this is our hallway. It, in this case, it's our room. So what we're going to do here is we're going to apply host right down the middle. Most of your traffic is in the middle of the room. So what we're going to do here is this is approximately three feet apart. I'm going to take a handful and put by this foot handful by this foot. I'm now going to step another three feet and do the same thing and put a handful here and a handful here. And we're going to put one handful in the middle. So now what I've done is I've taken my product from my bucket and I've put it in place. Evaporation is going to happen. We don't want it to evaporate here. So what we're going to do here is take this trash can liner, pull it up over this, tuck this down. That way my product here is not drying out. I don't have to keep transferring it. I can roll this anywhere that I need to while I'm doing a whole hallway, room, conference room, whatever it might be. At the end, I can simply take this out of here, pour it back in my bucket. Now, how do we go about cleaning? What we're going to do at this point is, you know, whenever we were all a kid, we played connect the dots. Real simple, easy thing. Well, I've grown up a little bit, but I still play connect the dots. <laughs> That's the second cleaning pass. 
We're going to make a third pass. It's going to be the same direction. But if you notice something, where I first placed the sponges has now widened. I've taken that five handfuls. Now I'm actually going out to where the dirt traffics. But I'm still concentrating most of my cleaning right in the center. That's where the dirt is. I'm migrating towards the edges, still using the same amount of host. Because I left it wet. This is what you should wind up with if you do host correctly. 